Yo, what's going on guys, Many here and welcome back to some more Fut Champs Weekend League gameplay. Today we're going to also be showing my monthly rewards. As you can see on the screen though, I've stuck with the 4-2-3-1 formation with the three cams. The main reason behind that being I want to kind of learn and know how to use one formation effectively. Learn all the exploits, be able to attack and defend effectively and just use it to better my overall game because I think the chopping and changing of formations is often disruptive. Like sometimes you might lose one or two games and you think, oh, I'm going to change formation. It just ends up being worse because you don't have time to adjust and then you end up losing more games and getting an overall bad record. So yeah, we take the win in that last game 3-1. We were doing actually quite well at stage this weekend. We did kind of bottle and if I did get to finish my games, I probably would have finished on maximum about 32 just because we had a bit of a rough ride at certain points but um, I was learning to attack better my attacking was getting better but times like this I don't know I did everything right and Ronaldinho just kicks it straight at the keeper I don't understand that uh, but yeah we were doing well attacking wise uh, defensively defensively again as always we slacked kind of uh, but yeah I'm still yet to play the new patch and see what it's like uh, from what I've heard I haven't heard the best of things about it so far um, but I'm looking forward to trying it myself and maybe it might be something uh, to re reinstate my FIFA game and help me get better. This weekend though, and I hit like a little period where everyone seemed to be backing out. This guy had quite a good team, but I scored within the eighth minute and he just backed out straight away. Like the hullet puts that away. And then this guy's like, I'm not on it. And I was kind of confused because I thought he had a good team and it didn't feel like it was easy to break him down. I just somehow went through at one point. So yeah, that was a bit of a strange one, but we're going to this one and a bit more strange, someone using 3-4-1-2. I don't often see people playing three at the back. And I think that's like the third time I've seen it this FIFA. It's very, very rare, but we score with Ronaldinho early on and he also decides to quit then we do come up against this guy who's decided to go with some all man united team somehow i don't know how he's put schmeichel over to hair because i don't think schmeichel's very good on this game but yeah we break him down we put it past that schmeichel and we go one nil up ronaldinho and pull it combining to get the first goal and then uh, it's the same combination again ronaldinho down the line pull it making it two nil and then to put the nail in the coffin but he drives it into ronaldinho a bit of a skill but a little bit showboating uh, to be fair on my side and we make it three nil and he rage quits but yeah let me know down in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the 4-2-3-1 formation what's the best way to attack with it what's the best way to defend with it if you have any sort of advice that i can use and how to thrive using this formation let me know down in the comment section below because my idea the way i've gone about it so far is i go attacking uh, from the off rather than defensive especially as from the start when people see the team it's immediately ultra defensive or part of the bus and it works for them so i go attacking then i try and get get my way uh, like that but sometimes i feel a bit vulnerable at the back and open uh, defensively so if going attacking is the wrong thing to do using this formation let me know down in the comment section below this time when we come up against student loan fc he's gone with martial at left striker van basten at right striker and why would you not go with martial when he's doing that i haven't seen one of those goals since like fifa 14 like properly scored not in an, into an empty net he did that past my goalkeeper but we get back into the game Ronaldinho absolutely swivels past Van Dijk and smacks it top bins and then Pele makes it 2-1 with a penalty straight down the middle had to change it up because I was going down the right a lot and then Ronaldinho drives this into Messi who's coming as a sub Messi spins in the, uh, the box and makes it 3-1 and then to finish it all off Lionel Messi with a finesse shot from outside the box I was actually starting to understand the attacking nature of the 4-2-3-1 and also how to use all of my players effectively in this system them. but we do come up against uh, Wenger Ball in this game he's clearly an Arsenal fan he had Prime Vieira Prime Omri and also Prime Perez but in the early moments of this game we were the ones playing the Wenger Ball and we take a 1-0 lead with Maradona's nice cute finish uh, but yeah Cavani this time drills it into Omri and Omri drills that into the back of our net so it's 1-1 and then early in the second half he breaks through our defensive line Cavani making it 2-1 and we were left disappointed as we lost that game into the last game for today now, and this guy's got quite a decent team. He's got 93, Inform, Suarez, Ronaldo, Bell, 87, Casemiro, and all sorts. And within 20 minutes of this game, he did find a way to get into our box with Ronaldo away from Walker, and he made it 1-0. So we had to find a way back into this game. Vieira slots it uh, into Ronaldinho, back to Vieira, who switches the play, and that might be a way to use this formation. Just do little passes and switch the play to find the guy making that late run like Maradona just did. And he did it again there. Maradona making it 2-1 with a great finish. And then Messi uh, twisting and turning on the edge of the box. I'm not sure what happened with the footage there, but we make it 3-1 with Omri. <laughs> I know you just about saw that, but yeah. Uh, later on, Pele plays it into Omri. He swivels again, and he makes it 4-1. So that was the end of that game, uh, pretty much, until this Ronaldinho did this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He showed me the power of his Ronaldinho there. It's a great finish, but we won the game 4-2. So yeah, that was it for this weekend. We ended on gold 2, which is 21 wins. I didn't have the time or energy to finish the games, despite the weekend league even being extended. But that was just the way it went. Anyway, it's time for the rewards. Let's 
see what we get and hopefully it's good. All right, so I apologize for not being able to finish Fut Champs, but you know, sometimes it gets really busy and uh, I can't always prioritize it. Still, of course, though, we have the rewards to get, so we're gonna do just that. Let's get these rewards and maybe, maybe get something good. There it is, Elite 3 on the monthly we've gotten. So there we get that kit again, and we also get one Elite 3 Fut Champions pack. Then on the actual weekend league itself, I could only manage to stop at gold 2. As a result of that, we get one rare gold pack, two rare mega packs, and 45k coins. So what do we have? First of all, let's go with the rare gold pack. 12 items in it. What are we going to get in it? Are we going to get anything worthwhile? It's a board. It is an inform, actually, which isn't bad. It's Spanish, center forward. Who the hell is this? Castro. I mean, it's an inform, but it's a bad inform. So there we go. We get Castro. It probably goes for about 12k or discard. Yeah, just about, yeah. You know what, let's list them up for 12k. 12.5 actually at a reach. Then we have two rare mega packs. This is the first one out of two. Uh, I don't even know what to expect in these packs. I don't know what they bring out, but again, it's an inform, so that's two informs. Algeria, Striker, and it's gonna be Hanny, Sofian Hanny, I think that his name is. I mean, it's not bad. Two informs out of gold two. They don't really go for much probably, but you know, it's an inform. Yeah, just around the same price. So let's, we, I think we'll sell him for that. Might as well. Just put him for 11k by now. The final pack from our weekend league rewards. Uh, another rare mega pack. Um, so far it's actually been quite good, you know. Two informs and we're not going to match that this time. It's going to be a normal rare gold card. Who's it going to be anyway? Striker, Arsenal, uh, Giroud. He actually plays for Chelsea now. Uh, which is going to look kind of weird, but you know. Finally, and it's what we've all been waiting for, the Elite 3 Fut Champions pack. I'm going to waste no time and go straight into this uh, because I really, I, I don't even remember what players I can get. I haven't actually checked what sort of players I'm in for, but I'm hoping for something decent. Spanish, centre-back, Real Madrid, Nacho Fernandez. That is actually not bad, 86 rated. And I don't know what else might be in this, but Nacho Fernandez is not a bad player. We also get another Spanish player. We get Sergio Roberto. We get Thomas Nkulu, Andy Carroll. I've tried out Andy Carroll's card, by the way, and it's actually not a bad card. Anything he shoots from outside the box with that shot power and those long shots pretty much does go in. And we have a load of other cards that are probably not going to get used. What oh, this guy? This guy's got some good stats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He could be a good CDM. But yeah guys, I guess that's pretty much it. Everything will go to the club. Let me know what you guys got in your monthly rewards down in the comment section below. Uh, with regards to Fut Champs this weekend, I doubt I'll be playing it because I've got so much on. Obviously there's the KSI Weller fight um, as well. And there is also, I think I'm going to Liverpool on Sunday to watch Liverpool versus Tottenham. So I don't think I'll have any time at all to complete any games. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back the week after hopefully. If you have enjoyed this video though, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Keep telling me that I'm the best in the country and I like how that sounds.